when we're not fully dipping kittens, here's a typical day. I try to hand feed the kittens as often as I can. I give them their oral ringworm medication. I do have to scruff them because they resist me and often try to bite. Scruffing keeps everyone safe and gets the job done. Then I turn out the lights so I can blacklight them. They don't seem to be glowing as much anymore, which is great. The best example of glowing ringworm is in this kitten's ear. I'll blacklight their entire bodies just to make sure that no new lesions have formed. And then I get to work spot treating each lesion regardless of whether or not it's glowing. I want all of this ringworm to die. I want it deader than dead, which means I have to be thorough when I'm spot treating. This kitten is the one with the glowing ear, which means the ringworm is still active. I'm making sure to give special attention to that ear and get the lime sulfur dip very well soaked in there. I even go in a second time on that ear after I treat the lesions on her head with lime sulfur dip. Once I'm all done with her,